Hi, I'm Joe Alton, MD, also known as Dr. Bones of www.doomandbloom.net, where you'll find over 600 posts, videos, and podcasts on medical preparedness for any disaster. Together with my wife, Amy Alton, a nurse practitioner, we're the authors of the three-category Amazon bestseller, The Survival Medicine Handbook, the New York Times bestseller, The Ebola Survival Handbook, and even the designers of the new board game, Doom and Bloom Survival, a fun and challenging way to get the whole family off their smartphones and thinking about preparedness. Welcome to the next part of our series on antibiotics and their applications in survival settings. There are many antibiotics, but what antibiotics accessible to the average person would be good additions to your medical storage? When do you use a particular drug? The wrong antibiotic at the wrong time can be as bad or worse as doing nothing at all. Before I start, let me make it clear that information on our channel is for situations where modern medical care is not available and you have become the highest medical resource that your family has. In normal times, seek qualified professionals wherever and whenever you need help. A useful option for your survival medicine cabinet is ciprofloxacin, veterinary equivalent fish flox, otherwise known as a popular drug cipro. Ciprofloxacin is an antibiotic in the fluoroquinolone family. It kills bacteria by inhibiting the microbes production of DNA, genetic material, and proteins. This drug usually comes in 250 and 500 milligram dosages. Ciprofloxacin can be used for a number of problems including the following conditions. Bladder or other infections, especially in females. In males, prostate infections. Some kinds of lower respiratory infections such as pneumonia, acute sinusitis, skin infections such as cellulitis, bone and joint infections, and certain types of infectious bacteria, typhoid fever caused by salmonella, and respiratory-based as opposed to skin-based anthrax. In most cases, you should get 500 milligrams twice a day for 7 to 14 days, with the exception of bone and joint infections, 4 to 6 weeks, and anthrax, 60 days. You can get away with 250 milligram doses for 3 days for most mild urinary infections. Generally, you would want to continue the medication for 2 days after improvement is noted. Ciprofloxacin should be taken with 8 ounces of water, and you should avoid dairy. Unlike amoxicillin, the subject of our last video, many antibiotics may not be safe for use in some situations. For example, ciprofloxacin has not been approved for use during pregnancy or in breastfeeding mothers. Among its side effects, cipro has been reported to occasionally cause weakness in muscles and tendons leading to rupture. So those with certain chronic muscle or joint conditions should avoid it if possible, as should people with kidney and liver disease, as well as seizure disorders. It may also cause joint and muscle complications in children, so it is restricted in pediatric use to the following conditions only. Urinary tract infections, bladder and kidney due to E. coli, luckily one of the most common types, and respiratory-based anthrax. Standard dosages of antibiotics may not be right for kids. In children, the dosage of Cipro is measured by multiplying 10 milligrams by the weight in kilograms. One kilogram is 2.2 pounds. The maximum dose should not exceed 400 milligrams total twice a day, even if the child weighs more than 100 pounds. People should not take this medication if they have an allergy to drugs in the fluoroquinolone family, such as Levaquin. It's important to avoid giving antibiotics unless you know what you're treating. Learn to identify medical issues by studying their signs and symptoms. You won't have lab tests in a true survival scenario, so you'll have to depend on your knowledge to use these drugs and, of course, any of your other medical supplies effectively. This is Joe Alton, MD, that old Dr. Bones, wishing you the best of health in good times or bad. Thanks for watching. Hey, expand your knowledge base of both diseases and their treatment in times of trouble by getting a copy of The Physician's Desk Reference, now in its 69th edition, and our second edition of The Survival Medicine Handbook, both available on Amazon.com. For a good survival medicine kit, see Nurse Amy's entire line at store.doomandbloom.net.